okay so it seems to me that I will put this video in two parts unfortunately something happened and uh, I don't want to really to do this video again so you will go to this guy and I will put the both uh, links uh, I will put the links in the description of this video so you have a spoofed the QEMU and uh, spoofed EDK2 they are both uh, the same so you will just uh, copy this line and then you will copy the other line and then okay so the only thing that you need to do here which uh, I will uh, let you know how to do it you see this version you need to modify the shell and change this to 8 or basically to whatever you want it to be uh, so we will go to tags so the latest one is 8 so maybe when you watch this video then the version will be like 9 for example so you need to put 9 and uh, then you will run and then uh, the build will be successful if you are using Arch uh, Linux then you need to uh, install these dependencies if you are using Ubuntu or Fedora you need to run these two dependencies these two commands apt or dnf you know uh, your package manager more than me and uh, then uh, you need to also go to spoofed edk2 same thing you need to install the required uh, dependencies then you will run the first line the second line and then you need to go here and then you will uh, you will change the branch to whatever you will i re recommend to put the latest so the latest here is adk2 dash stable 2023 11 so this is really simple just you copy this press copy go back and then change it of course you will change it when you do the curve so first you will do the curve then you will do chmod then you use like uh, I will show you one example I don't really want uh, I'm not gonna run chmod but I will show you how you can change uh, I will show you how you can uh, what do you call it uh, change the branch so first I will curve to whatever directory I have I want it to be. Then since I have curled it, uh, curled uh, downloaded uh, the shell file. Then I will use uh, nano. You can write nano. You can even write sudo. So nano adk2 mod. Then you will go to this link. You will check the latest uh, uh, branch and you will save it. I hope that you know how to use nano. Even uh, you can use, uh, uh, actually you can even use uh, any text editor. The text editor that uh, of your choice. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, uh okay so yeah so basically from system wise from like virch uh, that is my setup and uh, you have all the information now so the only thing now we need to go back to the vm okay so now we are in the vm and in the vm uh maybe the only thing that is interesting to you is you need to go to features 
and you need to enable Hyper-V okay so you need to enable Hyper-V and uh, yeah that's about it uh, you can you can install the game with the, the official launcher Cyberfire Heroic then you run the game of course uh, I like to have uh, tab frame X now I will be honest with you last time I played this game uh, I was not uh, I did not enable Hyper-V and uh, I was detected but I was also not uh, using a controller. I was using my keyboard and mouse, which uh, they are passed through. They are use USB passed through, and I heard that uh, this might actually lead to the game to detect if you are in a VM or not. Uh, but let's uh, try it because I noticed that I didn't have uh, what do you call it. Uh, Hyper V enabled, and uh, maybe it will work now. Basically, that is all about it. And if it works, then uh, that is great. If I got tested, uh, I will uh, call the video.
told you I'm not good at the game, but I'm pretty good at uh, hacking the game. And uh, well, uh, as you have seen, the game works, and uh, it works really well. I have not really tried other games, but uh, like Valorant. Before I end this video. And I will see. Basically, like I said, I was very busy. You know, I couldn't really do a lot. And uh, that's why uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, basically, that's all I have done. So, my XML file will be in the description. The links for the spoof, the QAM, QAMU, and EDK2 will be also in the description. And you have seen what I have done in front of you. And uh, I hope that uh, the game will work with you. As you can see, my Sebex are very uh, mediocre for today's uh, modern uh, gaming uh, uh, hardware. But uh, it works really well. And uh, honestly speaking, I do prefer to use uh, Linux only. But sometimes it is really fun to uh, take things uh, off the limit and uh, challenge yourself. And that's what I have done. Definitely Fortnite is one of the most uh, difficult games uh, to uh, pass through. And uh, as you have seen, it is working amazingly. And uh, if you like the video, uh, share it. and. Uh, Subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you need more details. I, I don't think any more details really required. I have uh, given almost uh, everything. And uh, I wish you the best. Peace.